All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Hill Creek Outdoors got another video today. It has been extremely cold and we had some snow. It's starting to melt off. So this is the first day where we've had sun and it's been above freezing. So 32 degrees Fahrenheit here in Ohio. It's been roughly around the single digits and in the teens the last probably week. Um, as you can see, look at this, the creek going here. It's still kind of froze over on the sides, but... We've had a lot of questions over the years since we have lived at this property on how we get up and down our driveway um, and what we kind of do. Because as you know, if you have been following the channel, we live up on a hill, about a half a mile long driveway. Um, we cross a bridge. That's why we're called Hill Creek Outdoors. Um, as you may know, if you've watched the uh, previous videos, I kind of went into a little bit more detail on that. But we have about a 400 feet elevation to the up on the hill there. And 14% grade. It actually goes 7% grade. And then a turn up to a 14% grade. So we don't plow it. We don't salt it. Obviously, it's gravel driveway. You know, maybe in the future we might have the ability to maybe do some type of work where you put uh, blacktop, maybe the 300 feet of real steep incline. But this is how we do it currently. We use our Polaris Ranger XP1000 Crew Cab Edition. This is a 2022 Polaris Ranger. And there's plenty of videos we've done on this. So I encourage you to check those out. So my wife usually uses that with the kids when she goes to work or gets them to school and i use the polaris ranger oh, i'm sorry the polaris sportsman 400 that way we have two lines of defense down here but this keeps you out of the elements and allows you to have an enclosure as well as a heating system and it does a fabulous job so we usually park right here. There's my truck. My wife's currently at work. And she drives a GMC Yukon Denali XL. So let me go ahead and jump in here. And we'll show you how we go up and down the driveway. So we always keep it in four-wheel drive in conditions like this. And in work mode, obviously you're going to have that heat going. I'm going to turn it off so you guys can hear me so it's not too loud, but it, it will put out extreme amount of heat where you can sit in here comfortably out of the wind, out of the elements and not have to worry about it. There's our creek going underneath the bridge there. It's actually a really nice day today. I think it's up to about 35 degrees, so things are starting to melt. We're supposed to get a nasty front come through tonight and tomorrow, where the temperature is supposed to drop just below freezing, but it's going to be raining, so we're supposed to get about a tenth of an inch of ice, so that's going to make this even worse. But what we usually have issues with is when it starts melting and then at night it'll then refreeze making just a sheet of ice on our driveway this portion right here is a seven percent grade and this is the section that has a lot of shade on it for the majority of the time and usually gives us the most issues and then we'll make a turn here and that is about 300 feet we'll make a turn and then the grade then goes to a 14% incline for about another 300 feet but you can see the gravel starting to uh, come up out of the snow but once again if it doesn't get all the way down by nighttime it usually will freeze again and just make for an awful mess Sometimes it's not about getting up the driveway, it's about getting down. Especially with that curve down there, you usually can't.
can't make that curve if you start sliding. I've used the uh, John Deere 1025R in the past to kind of plow the driveway. And I've thought about getting a plow for the Ranger. Um, just haven't got into it yet. But really, if you look at it, if you plow a driveway, it's just going to take it right down to where this is at right now. Um, especially if you got dr gravel. And this is where it's the most dangerous for us because it's going to freeze. And we know that. And then it's just going to become like a, a sheet of ice or almost like a... Uh, a slope at a ski resort is basically what it comes down to. And the last thing you want to do is be coming down this like this, and you can't free roll. You know, if you're driving on ice and snow, the best method is to free roll. Don't use your brakes, don't lock your wheels up, right? And just steer. But you will get going too fast and might not make that curve, and you might end up over that embankment there, which would never be good. But yeah, I wanted to kind of show you guys how we do this. Many, many people have reached out to me and asked me, what do you guys do when it snows or it's icy on getting up your hill? And it usually scares quite a few people, but you know, it's, it's actually not too bad now that we have the Polaris Ranger and we've done it for quite a few years now. We've gotten used to it. It's actually pretty nice because it only is about we only have to usually usually do it uh, probably two to three weeks out of an entire winter season out of the year so that isn't too bad and I can't I don't know I don't know if in the future we will uh, it's gonna be cost-effective to do something with the driveway where you would uh, put blacktop or whatever. I don't know. It's something you're gonna have to. We're gonna have to weigh and depend and say, hey, is it cost effective to do that, or just you know, use the Ranger three time, three weeks, potentially three weeks out of the year. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Just wanted to give you a little short video of this and show you kind of how we do the process where we park, kind of things we do. So. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time here on Hill Creek Outdoors, we'll see ya.